peace on earth, at least in the state capitol this season, as both a display by the Lincoln atheists. Too often we allow others to define us, so I'm trying to redefine it and let people know that atheists are good people. And a nativity scene shares space on the ground floor rotunda. The public square should not be void of signs of her citizens' beliefs and values. The dueling displays is the latest twist in the holiday battle of church and state. In 2014, the Thomas More Society put up this nativity scene for a day. When they wanted to do it again the next year for the entire week leading up to Christmas, they found the atheists had beat them to the punch and reserved all four corners. This year, the Capitol Commission's changes first come first serve policy to allow both groups in at the end. Actually makes our message a little bit easier to talk about because we can actually say that if the state is allowing a religious display, that at the same time they have to allow non-religious displays like ours. Our ability to share it is a badge of our freedom and of our civility. Still, both groups question whether it's proper for the other to be there in the first place or at this particular time. I don't think it's the most polite thing in the world. You know, there's plenty of time for this stuff. We don't need sharp elbows. But uh, nonetheless, the, the coexistence of it is emblematic of, of our society, of our freedoms. It seems that the state is actually supporting uh, religion over non-religion at that case. And they're actually, it's a very specific religion as well. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.